A man took to social media, asking why more Singaporeans did not head overseas for opportunities. He specifically spoke about the engineering industry and said, on the recent post of poor prospects of engineers in SG compared to tech. I'm curious to know why is everyone so fixated on only Singapore? Singapore is not the only place in the world where engineering jobs exist. There are plenty of engineering positions worldwide. He added that it was only natural that with the small Singapore market, there can only be a certain number of good, high-paying jobs. If foreign talent have the guts to come to Singapore to work, why don't more Singaporeans just head overseas for better opportunities? While there is nothing wrong spending your entire work life in Singapore, be prepared to face a glass ceiling without international work experience. This is speaking from an engineer who has spent 20 years in top US and European semicon firms. After my NUS bachelor's, I went for a master's in engineering in Europe, followed by an MBA in the US a few years later. The man wrote. He added that he eventually requested a transfer back to Singapore because of his family. But because of his highly valued international exposure and experience, he is able to draw a competitive remuneration. Let me tell you all, the world is so much bigger than Singapore. Don't be limited to the mindset that Singapore is the only option. If you want to pursue the career you are passionate in, but Singapore companies don't pay what you think you deserve, bite the bullet and hate overseas. Higher risk, but higher rewards. With an NUS education, the world is your oyster, he wrote. Read related. A woman told her friend to apply for a maid job after the latter, who graduated with a science degree from NUS, complained that she could not find a job. The woman said that there are many maid agencies around. Then, an epiphany dawned on me, if this so-called maid job is so terribly insulting and that it's unfit for locals to do, isn't it really the case that the living conditions and salary for maids is just underpaid by our own standards, the woman wrote. She continued, Would you think it's okay for you or your daughter to work 16 hours a day with half a day off on Sunday for 500 mighty Singapore dollars a month? What makes Singaporeans so special that they can treat other human beings as being fine to do these jobs that aren't fine for any local to do?